Modern sports jujitsu will get you fucking beat down in the street, and it's stupid. All right, let's uh, let's get this fucking straight before I've got every freaking white and blue belt out there looking for me on the mats. All right, I'm not saying that jujitsu is stupid, so freaking settle down. I'm saying that modern sports jujitsu, specifically when it comes to self defense, can be fucking foolhardy. Why? Because it's all about this like kicky feet style where you're putting your fucking feet above your head and you're doing all this crazy shit that like limber 20 year olds are like capable of doing. When it comes down to it in the street, you don't fucking think about it, but you're going to get punched in the nutsack. You're going to get fucking stacked and then thrown on the fucking pavement. All right. Or somebody's going to pull out a fucking pen or even worse, a knife and jam it in your fucking leg. Like people don't think about this. People don't think about the fact that most of these positions in jujitsu, these dominant positions that will score you a lot of points in competitions, neon belly, full mount, side control, they're all based off of striking. They're all giving you points for the amount of damage that you could do against your opponent that they can't do back to you when they're on the ground. But this seems to be very much lost in this modern sports jujitsu competition oriented bullshit culture that's like Taking over schools. Why does it take over schools? Because they want to send you to a competition. They want you to win a gold. And then they want you to bring it home for the gym. And then they get more street cred. And then they get more people trying to sign up for their gym. Because look how well we do in competitions. Don't get me wrong. I think every single man out there should have the opportunity to win a combat sports competition if they want to. Whether that's a jiu-jitsu competition, an MMA fight, a freaking Muay Thai smoker fight, or a boxing match, whatever. That's something that every single man out there who wants to should be able to attain. And you can just go to an MMA gym or a Muay Thai gym or a boxing, whatever. That's the whole point to put you into a competition and have you win. It's great. Don't get me wrong. But I've literally had blue belts while I'm doing self-defense stuff with jujitsu. I go on Fridays and the gym I'm currently at does more self-defense oriented stuff on Fridays. And I've literally had guest blue belts come in and say i never thought that i could get hit in this position or they can't fucking they 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 somehow they can't fucking seem to punch from a mount position without getting you know bridged or bucked off right and they, they can't seem to fucking they can't put two and two together i've had guys <laughs> i've literally had guys when i'm on bottom cross side control and I put my thumb right here, and I push their head back. I've had guys freak out about that. Bro, what do you think is going to happen in the street, man? <laughs> These guys, I, you know, when I used to train back with Garnett Stroger back in the day, okay, he was from the Lower East Side of Manhattan, quite a G, right? I want, I'm not obviously from there, all right? I just trained with him. He really let me know all the time. He had an expression. He would say, brother, if you think these, he called me brother. He says, brother, if you think these guys from the city, talking about from the hood, you think these guys from the city are going to take it easy on you, you're fucking ridiculous and you're mistaken, all right? Get with the program. <laughs> he would always tell me that, and it always stuck with me all throughout my jiu-jitsu career, too. I would always, if I had a minute, take a minute and think, how could I deliver the best strike? Well, do I have an opportunity to punch him in the throat right now? Do I have an opportunity to grab his fucking nuts and then grab his throat and fucking yoke him down to the ground? All right. Do I have an opportunity to fucking reach for something? All right. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, in the heat of battle, when I'm trying to choke somebody, I'm just going to try to choke them. <laughs> but when I had a minute, I would always kind of think about that. Could I fucking deliver a good elbow strike right here? Could I put my thumb in his eye and push him off that way and then chop him in the fucking throat? So I don't see any schools really talking about this stuff. Now, I know there are great schools out there that teach more street oriented stuff. There are schools out there that train in jeans, which is a great idea. Not a lot. You know, the school that I came up in back on the East Coast, AMA Fight Club, really great instruction. And they always kind of made it more street applicable because the professor, John Helwig, came up through mixed martial arts, fighting in fucking cages. But and I'm not saying the instructors and the black belts who are teaching this sports shit are wrong. I get it. And they're tough guys. You have to be fucking insanely tough to get a black belt in jujitsu. But I do worry about it when it comes to new guys coming in. And then I hear shit like, well, I never thought about hitting a guy right here. Why? You're doing a 
freaking, you're literally doing the sport that was invented by samurais. That's the problem. It turned into a fucking sport. And it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be lethal, brutal, fucking fighting on the ground, which is the most dangerous place to be. Yeah, I get it. A cliche from other reality-based self-defense guys. The ground is the most dangerous place to be. I would never end up on the ground. Fuck you, you're an idiot. You don't know anything about fighting. You'll probably end up on the ground, in fact. I don't say that. Like, I'm not one of those guys that say 9 out of 10 street fights goes to the ground. Because I've been in street fights, and not all of them have even gone to the ground. I think a few of them have. But, like, come on. Let's get realistic. If you are on the ground, you better fucking know what you're doing. Because, again, I do agree with that. It is the most dangerous place to be, or one of them. So if you don't know what you're doing on the ground, you're fucking cheating yourself. And you're fucking being ridiculous. So go out there and train some wrestling or grappling or whatever it is. Judo, I don't care. But don't get fooled into thinking that this modern sports jujitsu stuff where you're like, can't even think about the shit right now because it's just that stupid. I don't pay any mind to it. And then when I go in and they're showing all sports techniques, I always get disappointed. And yeah, I drill them, but I'm thinking in my head the whole time, stupid, and I don't want to do this. <laughs> And it's not just because I'm unflexible, which I am, which is another reason I hate it. But no matter how much I fucking stretch, all right, no matter how much I fucking like do yoga and like fucking do cardio and shit and like whatever, like make myself a little stick figure skinny, no matter how much I do that, it's still not going to change the fact that it's stupid. And a lot of it is very dangerous in the street. And I personally train for real world self-defense. I train for the unfortunate situation, I actually have to use this stuff. And if I'm actually having to use this stuff, I don't have shit to prove. So if I am actually having to use this stuff, it's because I mean to actually win, all right? And I've been doing it long enough that I know that if you're actually going to fight to win, you're going to have to get very brutal on somebody, potentially. And that's not, that's not half of the techniques that they're teaching in gyms right now. And I think it's doing everybody a great disservice to label that in any way as self-defense. I think it's just cheating people. And I think it's putting them in dangerous situations. So don't get me wrong. Jiu-Jitsu is still one of the best things you could train in, in the right gym. You got to find the right place to go because there's a lot of stupid fucking places out there. And there's a lot of places that will take your money gladly and show you a bunch of stupid shit and then not really prepare you for much. There's also a lot of places out there. And this is a big pet peeve of mine. They're so loosey-goosey that you're not actually going to get the attention you need. You'll go in, you'll drill, and then you'll train, which a lot of places do drilling, and then like four rounds of open mat, which again, I think is stupid. You should be doing positional sparring. And then you'll like, you'll see people. You'll see people literally doing this. They'll get tired during drilling. They'll sit out. They'll talk for a minute. Then they'll do a couple more reps. Then they'll talk. Then you'll go and you'll fucking slap and bump and you'll do like a round of light sparring and then you'll sit out for the next round. That is so fucking absurd. That would never fly when I came up, ever. And when I see it, it makes me want to fucking vomit. It just makes me so angry because those people are cheating themselves. If you want to win a fucking fight, you have to be prepared to go all the way 100%. And your fucking cardio that you're getting from doing one round of light sparring and then sitting out and then doing another round of like light bullshit sparring and no takedowns is not going to get you to the place you need to be to actually win a serious life and death altercation. You might get lucky, but you might not. You might go against somebody who really knows what they're doing and they'll kill you. So don't fucking fool yourself about that shit. And don't fucking fool yourself that, you know, because you're able to do some stupid technique that works when nobody's trying to hit you in very favorable conditions on a soft mat and people are taking it easy on you and going half speed because they're being polite don't fucking let that fool you for a second that that's actually preparing you it's dangerous please remember that you are your first and last line of defense why do i say that all the fucking time because you're the one who's going to have to protect yourself. The cops ain't going to fucking be there to be your bodyguard. You're also your last line of defense. Because chances are, by the time the shit's over, the cops still won't be there. So take your fucking training seriously. And if you're at a gym where it's all this bullshit, like loosey-goosey, sit out around, do what you please. We'll do sports competition techniques and then talk a little bit on fucking 
you know, on once a month about like self defense, Gracie self defense. We'll find a new gym, maybe figure it out. But don't kid yourself. I'll see you in the next video.